Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from anthonymorganti.com. This is episode 35 of Lightroom Quick Tips. In this episode, we're going to talk about something I get emails on now and then. People have found that at times they'll import new images into Lightroom and they're already pre-adjusted, meaning they'll open, say, their basic tab and instead of having all the sliders in the middle, they're all adjusted already. And there are three different ways that I know of in Lightroom where that could happen. And in this video, we're going to talk about those three different ways. The first way is in the import dialog. Now I'm using Lightroom CC 2015, the latest release as of the making of this video. And the import dialog is a little different in this version. If you go up to Lightroom, I'm sorry, you go up to the file and you go to import photos and video. Um, many of you might be familiar with this import dialog, which is not very good. And I will show you the other one in a minute. When you import the images and you pick the images you want and they're all check marked over here in the middle, if you look over at the right hand panel, there's a develop preset and you can see I have mine set to none. Well, what might have happened with some folks is they inadvertently picked a preset. So, for example, I could go to my uh, Anthony M's presets and I could get nitty gritty. What that means is that every image I import into Lightroom is going to get that nitty gritty preset applied to it immediately. So all those sliders in the basic panel, the tone curve, all that is going to get adjusted without me doing anything. Most people don't like that to happen. So double check that your develop preset says none when you're on this import dialog. Now, I mentioned that that's a new import dialog for this iteration of uh, Lightroom CC. Uh, if you have a different uh, iteration of Lightroom CC or you have an earlier version of Lightroom, like Lightroom 4.5.3, uh, it looks a little different. So I'm just going to show you. I have Lightroom 5 here, and this is the import preset that was in earlier versions of Lightroom. And you could see here that it has developed settings. And if you uh, open that up, you could see there's all the presets again. So if you're using a version of Lightroom that has this import dialog, it's still on the right hand panel. It's called develop settings. So look for that and make sure it says none. Okay, so I'm going to close down Lightroom 5 because we don't need that. But we're going to talk about Lightroom 6. And the next two things are applicable to any version of Lightroom. Um, we're going to go over to the develop module. And for the heck of it, we're going to open the basic panel. And you can see all the sliders are in the middle. So this no processing was done to this image of the Vietnam Memorial in Washington, DC. But if we go up to Lightroom and we go to preferences, what I'd like you to look at is the presets tab. See here, if it says apply auto tone adjustments, if you have that checked, what will happen is that when you import images into Lightroom, they're automatically going to get auto toned. And what that means is in the basic panel, you can see there's a little auto button right here. If I click it, these sliders get automatically adjusted to what Lightroom thinks this image should be adjusted to. So again, if you're in the preferences, if you have this checkbox checked, that is what's going to happen. So make sure that checkbox is not checked and then you'll not get any pre-adjustments done to your image. That actually is probably more common that I found people have. Uh, the import preset, develop preset, that's, that happens now and then, but that ha this uh, setting in the preferences happens a little bit more often. Now this last thing I'm going to show you rarely happens, but I have seen it and I had um, in, uh, some forum on Facebook, a Lightroom Photoshop forum had uh, a user had this exact problem, so I'm going to show it to you. If you go down and you're in the develop module and you look down on the right hand panel, at the bottom it says reset. Now as you can see, we did auto tone on this, remember? So we have all these adjustments and this, just for the heck of it, will adjust clarity and vibrance and saturation as well. 
I'm going to click reset. And you can see it resets all the sliders back in the middle. Well, what happens is sometimes, let's say we adjust some of these sliders, and I'm just going to just spin them around a little bit just so we have adjustments on them, all right? So this, <laughs> I don't mean this to be a great processing of this image. I just want to move the sliders away from their default position, all right? So we have them adjusted. If you hold the Alt or Option key, it's Alt if you have a PC, Option if you have a Mac, and look at the Reset button. It turns into Set Default. Now, if I click on that, what it's saying is for this specific model camera, it's a Fujifilm X-T1 RAW file, that these settings that you have over here will become the Reset Settings. So I'm going to click Update. All right, so now when I click reset, it didn't change. Do you see that? Let's, for the fun of it, let's go to another image. Let's go to that one. All right, I'm going to click, let it sit there for a minute. We're going to click reset. And you can see it reset it to those settings that I had on this image, wasn't it? Or was it that image? It was that image. See that? Now, every time I hit reset, I screwed it all up. It's going to always be like this. Well, obviously, we don't want that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to another image that isn't adjusted at all. And we're going to hold that alter option key in. And it's going to say set default. And this is what you should do if you accidentally did this to your uh, reset defaults. We're going to click there. And we're going to go Restore Adobe Default Settings. So we'll click there. Now, when I click Reset, it goes back the way it uh, should be. I don't think that one was adjusted. That one wasn't adjusted. Here's the one we adjusted just crazily. I'll hit Reset. And you can see now it's putting them back in the middle. So those are really two ways. The first two ways I showed you of how... You could import images into Lightroom and they'll get settings applied to them um, just on their own without you doing anything. And that's how you would correct it. This last one is just some weird thing that happens sometimes to the reset settings. So I hope that helps some of you guys. And um, now when I get these emails, I could po point people to this video because it's very hard to explain what to do in an email. Uh, to folks to you know fix this problem so if you guys have any questions always feel free to email me I do appreciate it if you give me some time though to answer uh, usually it takes me a day or two sometimes a little more to get to the emails but I will uh, answer your question all right that's it for now I'll talk to you guys soon